Before we can start modifying and grading our site, we need to learn exactly what a site modifier is and how it's used to manipulate the site. As we mentioned earlier, site models have two forms, the existing model and the proposed model. The existing model is generated from the initial source data and any existing site modifiers. The proposed model is the existing site model plus any changes made by proposed site modifiers. So what is a site modifier? A site modifier is an object that adjusts the elevation or appearance of a site model. Site modifiers are used for many purposes, from creating a pad or grading an area for proper drainage to excavating foundations or creating a textured area to represent different types of materials. There are a few types of site modifiers. There are grade limits, contours, pads, pads with retaining edges, texture beds, and spoil piles. In the next chapter, we'll take a look at the different types of site modifiers and how they affect a site model. Site modifiers are created using the site modifier tool. The site modifier tool is found in the site planning tool set. The icon looks like a bulldozer. The tool sets palette is located in the bottom left of the screen. If the tool sets palette is not visible, go to window, palettes, tool sets to turn the palette on. Remember, the tool sets palette is a palette of palettes. Each of the icons at the bottom will display a different set of tools. Clicking on the site planning tool set will reveal all of the site planning tools, including the site modifier tool. Site modifiers can be generated directly using the Site Modifier tool or quickly created from existing 2D objects using the Create Objects from Shapes command. In the next chapters, we'll begin to explore how to create site modifiers, as well as the use for the various different types of site modifier objects.